Good morning and welcome to a new episode of the video series on the rules of origin jointly realized by the European University Institute and the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development. Today I am pleased to introduce Wouter de Koster. Mr. de Koster, we understand that you carried out a study and a survey on the utilization of EU trade agreements by Belgian exporters. Could you tell us more about it? Absolutely, thank you. Um, yes, indeed, because in Belgium we are very keen on international trade. We are an open economy, as, as you might know, uh, with many SMEs that are ex uh, oriented towards uh, internationalization. We need to, because our economy is too small. And as a result, we are always supporting the EU in making those free trade agreements. But we never really knew whether it was useful or not. We did not know whether our exporters are actually using those free trade agreements. So we decided to, to find out. Um, because if they don't, well, why do we bother making them? And uh, it turned out that, thanks to the data that we got from the European Commission, it turned out that we do use free trade agreements to a certain extent. If I say we, I mean Belgian exporters. Um, the utilization rate stands at 74%, duty saving rates even a little higher on 77%, but it still means there's margin for improvement, considerable margin. Um, to be very concrete, every year, clients of Belgian exporters are paying import duties worth more than 100 million euros on our products. So it means that a lot of potential competitiveness is, is actually lost. So this is one thing we found this, but the question is how can, how can we change this, right? So we actually did two things to improve the situation, or that ho we hope might improve the situation. Um, the first thing is to try to find out where exactly this competitiveness is left untapped. So we looked per free trade agreements and per sector and we combined both. So for example, the chemical sector in Japan. So our chemical exporters in Japan, are they using free trade agreements? Um, the mineral sector in, in, in any country that we have a free trade agreement with. And this way, our um, trade supporting agencies Flans Investment and Trade, AWICS and Hub Brussels, which are our institutional partners, they can really contact the exporters that are potentially not using free trade agreements. So that's one element. And the second element is indeed the survey that you mentioned, where we um, try to find out why companies are using or not using free trade agreements. Um, it turned out that the utilization is very important for those who actually use free trade agreements, that they I think it's, it's really important that it exists. Um, and it also, we also found, which is surprising to us, what, that rules of origin did not seem to be such an issue for those companies. Um, we redid our survey, so we had a, a second survey. Overall, we have about 1,000 exporters who, who responded to our survey, all of them exporting to FTA countries. And we also found that for companies that are not using free trade agreements, the key reason was not the fact that rules of origin were too difficult. Don't get me wrong, it is a reason. And, and it is a, a great initiative of UNCTAD and, and others and WTO to, to um, make it more clear to everyone, both, both in, in language as in simplification of the rules. But the key reason for not using it, apparently in Belgium, is a lack of awareness. Just the idea that they don't know that a free trade agreement exists despite exporting to those countries. Um, so this is something that we absolutely need to work on. And the last element is the group of companies that's actually using uh, an intermediate, a custom broker, a freight for water, or as, as we call it, a logistic service provider. And there we found that in most cases, companies, exports that rely on such an intermediate don't even know whether they use free trade agreements or not, which, is, which probably means that they are not using them. Um, even though we asked them, would you use them if you knew or if you had the opportunity to do it yourself? And then majority said yes. So this caused reason for, um, for further research and it's something that we are working on at the moment to find out the role of, of those intermediates. And um, I, I, I heard during this round table, which was very interesting to us, that others are working on its elements as well. So it's, it's certainly fruit for thought, and I, I hope to, um, to, to work on it more in the, in the near future. Thank you, Wouter. Thank you very much for being with us. It was a pleasure meeting you.